Hi everyone, I'm Andy and I'm in sunny Peterborough. Tom is in sunny, or is it sunny, Manchester? Uh, it's as sunny as it can be. You don't want to get too optimistic here because it can change at a moment's notice. So, you know, we're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah, anyway, we're good. we are on here because if you, the sharp eyed ones have noticed that we've got a new top. It's called the Solid Bond, and Tom's got one next to him there, and I've got one in front of me here. Um, Tom, and I think he's right, has a, a strong feeling that it's a very ivy top. So perhaps for the, the, the viewers, you just give us 10 seconds what ivy is, perhaps, for the, the, the general viewers. Yeah, definitely. So I think a lot of people are familiar with ivy style, but don't necessarily know what it means. When people say ivy, they tend to mean it was the, like the style that was worn by the um, students on the college campuses of the late 50s, early 60s. In the on the east coast of America, so we mean like Princeton College and places like that, and it created a lot of kind of counterculture. Jazz musicians started wearing style. Actors, I've got Dustin Hoffman on the screen there wearing the style. Uh, loads of people, Steve McQueen, and it's just kind of like a timeless slip look that's great for any occasion. Okay, and 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 obviously um, you, you're a big fan of it. Uh, yeah. Um, there's obviously loads of bits you like about it. I've seen you in Harrington's and all the things. I think, is it because you like jazz music and you're the background I think so, of it? Yeah. I think, I don't really know. I think it's, yeah, I love jazz and it's a lot of kind of my, my heroes wear that style. But I think it is just that thing. It's simple and it looks great. Like, I don't really like leaving the house unless I'm, I'm kind of like, I know that I look quite smart. I don't like, I always like to be suitably dressed and... That's the perfect term for Ivy style, Ivy style, I think. You can go out, you can go to work, go to the pub after. doesn't matter who you bump into or where you end up, you're always going to be suitably dressed, I think. Yeah, I, I, I tend to agree with you as well. I think it's a, it's a great look. Um, let's move on to this top. Um, I think you can wear this multitude of outfits. Um, I think you could wear it undone. I think you could wear it done up. Um, I would style it with lots of different things. I think jeans it would look nice with. Um, you've got a pair of the Viscounts, and I've got a pair of the Deacons. Cool. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm going to put them so we can see them. I don't know if Rhea can see them both. Yeah, we've got them. These are going to come out soon. Uh, these are new to mod shoes. And I think I think a penny loafer or a tassel loafer like I'm wearing with this top, I think it's a good look. Do you any thoughts on that, Tom? Definitely. And I think when we talk about kind of loafers and the Ivy look, a person that should get a notable mention when we talk about them, especially like the jazz kind of Ivy look, is Miles Davis, whose friends actually used to call him the Wizard of Weijin. And when we say Weijin, we obviously mean Bass Weijin. And this is a lovely take on a classic, um, kind of like a Bass Weijin. But what I do love about this, you've got a really nice subtle beef roll and kind of the pointed tone, which you don't see a lot nowadays, especially on the high street with loafers, they, they tend to be really pointy or kind of really round, and the detail that's been taken into this, I know that's a very hard thing to achieve, isn't it, Andy? Yeah. That oh, yeah, yeah. Get, getting that, uh, um, getting the, the circle bit, it's, it's hard to explain. It's to do with, um, let me just put that up to the camera so we can see that nice and big. When you're basically trying to go round, the person who's manufacturing this, has got to go chuk, 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 and they go round a machine, and they've got, they're going to be quite skilled. A nice square or a nice is much easier to do. But anyway, that's to go with these. Um, but the inspiration came from Mr. P. Weller, uh, him of the Jam and the Style Council and Woking. I think we've got a picture on the screen. There he is. There's the cardigan. Now, interesting, what I thought was interesting is on the right-hand side, he's wearing it, I think, in Jam days. But on the left-hand side, he's still wearing it in the Style Council. And it's got a bit of an ivy look to it. And if we move on to the next picture... You'll see that transition of Weller from what I call the 1980, you know, very kind of obviously mod, through to that ivy kind of look. Uh, um, so hence why we called it the Solid Bond. Any any thoughts on the name or anything like that, Tom? Yeah, well, I think it's really interesting about that is you can see obviously it's the same piece, but it, the subtlest of details can change the look completely. On the jam photograph, you've got Paul Weller wearing a, wearing the cardigan with a pack of cigarettes in the top pocket with a few badges, and then you can see the image on the left. He's completely just changed the look, but wearing the same thing. He's got rid of the cigarettes, he's got rid of the badges, he's got a pair of white socks on, which is very mod revival, but I'd say it's also very ivy. And it's almost, it's just much more of a slicker look. He's had a bit of a haircut. It's a bit more, it's a closer haircut. The fringe has changed, and that's it. I think it's such an ivy look. He could be a jazz musician of the kind of 
early 60s, I think, really. That's such a clean-cut look that I think that's why he probably carried it over, just because of how smart it is. Yeah, no, I think I think at the time, wasn't he? He was trying, he was going more for that sort of jazz look, yeah. you know. Uh, um, and I know we were quibbling about earlier whether whether he's a good jazz musician or not, but we're, let's not go there, because that gets us <laughs> into a lot and a lot of trouble. Um, the name comes from the song Solid Bond in Your Heart, the Style Council, and... Uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the Jam both did a version. Mm. I know what I like. Uh, um, have you got any particular views? Um, what's, what's your What's your version? What and why? Well, regardless of what you like, Andy, there is a correct answer and there is a wrong answer. Just like everything in life, either right or wrong, no in between. Yeah, 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 yeah. The right yeah. answer is the Style <laughs> Council. Um, the what I, I like the Jam version, but the one thing it lacks is Mick Tolbert. And I know Mick Tolbert did now and then play with the Jam, but he didn't on that track. And I don't know. That's always what weighs up the style council for me, the fact that Mick Tolbert is in the band. I think he's one of the most underrated and kind of coolest people of his era. Like the fact that he wasn't trying. And like I think that's kind of like a nice nod to Ivy style. You look good without trying to, I think. Yeah, I I, I, I understand. I mean, just before the show, I mean, we just before we did, recorded this, I played both versions. I like the style council version. It's probably more correct for the time. The jam one seems a little bit laboured. I can see why he chose <laughs> Beast Surrender. And, and as I was telling you earlier, I slowed it down on YouTube by a tiny, tiny bit. I think if they'd remained it and slowed it down, yeah. the jam might have got a better version out. I think, I think on balance, they, Beat Surrender was the better one to go with. Yes, do, do I, um, What do I think is better, though? I, but the bit I really love about the jam's version is the, the Zylophone Glockenspiel. I love the yeah. fact that it's got that kind of what thing to it you know so um i, I think don't know one of the things that for me for the style counts is the music video as well kind of yeah yeah that hall of suede heads and you've got kind of eddie pillar gary crowley and like a few other known faces in there it's just i don't know it's a nice like celebration of mod almost that little video it's got like, a, a nice gift like for the fans i think yeah I, I totally agree so i'd like to thank tom for helping me out with this video from sunny manchester absolutely uh, pleasure. Love the crowd again. lovely <laughs> good man um <laughs> Mod Shoes does lots of Ivy Ivy shoes, so if you wonder what the Ivy thing is, just have a look around the tassel loafers that we do. This particular top is coming out in mid-September, the 16th. Um, I don't know when you're watching this video, you might be watching it after, so it's probably out already. Um, there's lots of more. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, there's lots more of these videos online. Just go to Mod Shoes forward slash magazine and you can watch lots more. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Tom. See you soon.